Hi everyone, welcome on Tiffany here from Tiffany Gordon Cosplay with a uh, cosplay making stream today. I was gonna say gaming, but we're working on game cosplay, so kinda, kinda, kinda. But yeah, hello, hello. I hope everybody has been having a wonderful week so far and uh, happy Friday, I believe it's Friday. Yes, it's Friday. <laughs> but uh, yeah, good, good afternoon, morning. I'm all lost for words today. But hello, hello um, to all the people that are watching early, watching lurking, and uh, watching later on the cosplay YouTube. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, today we're gonna be working on Keyblades, um, bending our bone structure for them, as well as probably working on our uh, Charlotte Final Fantasy cosplay. Um, more on the shield. I've got a lot of pieces cut out and possibly we'll open windows and glue since uh, it's not as bad cedar um, outside with allergies. It's still kind of bad, but yeah, you know, you know, so, but yeah, I hope everybody is doing well. Let me switch over. <laughs> oh, hiccups. Hiccups, hiccups. There we go. Hello. So yeah, I just have all, all of the things we're working on down here, so I don't have to turn them on and off later. <laughs> but yeah, the first uh, keyblade we're going to do is the Star Seeker. Um, I didn't realize I didn't have a fully long CPVC pipe, so we're going to have to make it work. Um, originally, I wanted to do uh, one, one pipe that went through, you can kind of see where I did my line that went through all of this as the bone structure. Um, I'm gonna end up doing it where the one piece stops roughly about here, and then I'll get a larger piece that it inserts into. Um, so it'll still work out the same, just working with what I got. <laughs> um, and if you are interested, this blueprint is available on my website. Uh, so yeah, there's that. But um, yeah, we're gonna start with uh, CPVC pipes. They are kind of like PVC pipe, but I like these a lot better because they're easier to heat up and bend, um, and they come smaller than most PVC pipes and are stronger too. So, yes. Okay. Put that over there. And I'll use a sharpie. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. I'm gonna start it on this side and we'll slowly work our way. I also need to uh, film this part, so two seconds. I'm gonna set up the camera. But I hope everybody's doing well. to heat it up to bend, so we're gonna do the inside. So it's gonna heat there, and then I'm gonna rotate it, and we're gonna bend it here, and then here. And this one's gonna be on this side because it's a different bend. This one's gonna be here. And so then that'll bend to go in the uh, pipe down there. Boop. All right. So I've got my lines on 
this. This one's the Star Seeker, so I'm gonna write that down. Okay. I wanna keep this out so I can uh, get my line on it. So let's actually move it there. And then I need to get a few things. Already a lot of work. Caspian, welcome on and thank you for the host. Out of curiosity, where do you get that slab from? Was looking for one uh, for a leather doing. At a leather shop. Uh, this one is from Tandy Leather, and they sell them just this big. They have smaller ones, too. Um, other things that you can find them is, uh, like, I think they're expensive to ship just because of the weight. But um, if you know anybody, like, if there's construction work going on near you, like building apartments and stuff, uh, you can ask to see if you can have their granite slab for cutting out the sink shape. Because normally they're, like that big or whatever and you can use them but yeah this one I've had it for years but it's my leather work one so yeah do you have your book today uh I, what do you mean by that I've got my little black bookie book is that what you're talking about <laughs> yeah that would be the cheapest way of getting write it, it. Down, write it oh down. okay because you're gonna need to write us down <laughs> Caspian, thank you for the resub of 11 months. One more month for a year. Much love and thank you also for being a um a Mataru. Yeah, I will I will write it down. I, I was told by my boss I have to write something down, so let me let me write it down. My my list of names. <laughs> Okay, you're in my little booklet. You're in my little booklet. <laughs> all right. I mean, technically, all all of like my Twitch community is my boss <laughs> to a point. I mean, if I'm doing something wrong, y'all call me out on my shit. <laughs> so yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, next is to heat up all of our pieces. Um, doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -doop. I want to find this. Okay. <laughs> I've done this in the past, but like trying to film it at the same time and have room is a little bit of a pain. Yeah, I found, so what we're gonna be doing is heating up the CPVC pipes and actually bending it to the curvature of the key blade. And I found if I do this on like my wooden tables or anything else, it really heats it up and it stays there forever. So I like doing it on my slab because then it's just on this. So more like you're the supervisors. Okay, that works too. That works too. <laughs> All right. So, um, uh, 
how can I show this? That's like as high as my camera will go. Um, I'll move this one over. I know the lighting is like awful, but that way you can kind of see. Uh, maybe I'll turn the brightness down some so y'all can see that. Maybe, maybe. Face cam, configure. Uh, let's turn the exposure down one more. How is that? Um, I'll be a little dark for now, but then y'all can actually like see what I'm bending on and then I'll change it back afterwards. Might be best. Uh, in case you're gonna need you to come in on Sunday, but next Friday is uh, Hawaiian shirt day. I don't have a Hawaiian shirt. Oh, well, no, I take that back. I have something that could work as a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Hi, Pfizer. Happy Friday to you, too. Hope you're having a good day. Okay, so yeah, now y'all can kind of see it. Kind of, kind of. This is like the best we're gonna get it. So uh, let me go ahead and start the camera with everything. Yeah. Technically, I could wait, wait, wait. I had a better idea. Okay, I'll move it this way, like that. I know it's a weird angle, but then you can see directly where I'm doing it. That's better. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've done this on stream before, but I don't remember offhand. For two weeks. Yeah. I'm not good for doing it though, but poor puppies. Okay, so that's our bottom, this is our top. Uh, awesome, Andrew. Thank you for the host as well. Thanks, love. Came out of surgery just fine. Ah. Good, good. Good, good, good. And if you want me to turn down the mic, let me know. I know this is going to be a bit loud. Basically, I'm heating up where the black spot was that we marked. And kind of applying a little bit of pressure to the tip at the very end. This will let me know when I can bend it. And it'll kind of go to like clay, almost. Hold it in place for it to cool. Uh, Shapiro's, thank you for the host. <laughs> now, when doing this, you want to kind of work down in one direction because it does take a little bit of time to heat up and it'll slowly heat it downward to each of the spots. Yourself hardware stores for cast offs to use anywhere that cut stone. Yeah, that's true. I know for glass, um, like if you want auto safety glass in weird portions that are small, a lot of times if you just go to like a Zad, Zad Zingler, I think is what they called, at least that's here in town, uh, they'll just give you free glass because they are just gonna toss it anyway. There we go. 
Okay, now for the next one. So we're gonna do the same thing. Hold it in place. <laughs> Caspian. Uh, needs to find somewhere. Ah, uh, that near you. You only know the usual home improvement places in the lumber yard. And... Hi, Flip. Welcome on. <laughs> you can on him. <laughs> what are the gloves for? Um, because this is hot and uh, I don't want to burn my wee little fingers. for it to cool. I'm gonna do this at a different angle too. Fingers extra rare, not all time. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty nice. They've got like extra little um, heat things there. So, okay. One more. You can make it do like a nice even curve that's round, but it takes a little bit more practice, and I'd rather just heat it up in one section and just have sharp curves because we're going to cut out a place for this to sit in anyway. No worries. You saw someone cook a steak with one of these on YouTube? Ugh. Seems kind of nasty. Okay. That one, so the next one's going to be on the back. I may have to heat that one up a tiny bit more. Oh, 
Oh, a safety video. Interesting. Hi, Foxy. Welcome on. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move it down slightly since we're in a little bit of a different area now. I am just about done uh, with my heat gun video, and it's going to be released tomorrow. So I'm doing um, cosplay uh, tools and materials spotlight, and the first one I'm going to be doing is the heat gun. And uh, I pretty much got most of it done this morning, um, but now i got to make it all special and like pretty, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so it's interesting. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully y'all will like it. E. Uh, I mean, I have my welding gloves, but these are fun. We want some intense gloves. I could wear, these are my welding gloves and stuff for, use them for casting. So, a little, a little different. I can't really bend my hands in them. so old and nasty and I ended up getting another one but it's like this and it's like the I don't grab things like this out of the oven I, I grab them like this and so it's it doesn't it's weird Dollar store oven mitt seems to increase the amount of heat, not decrease it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 
Uh, so this isn't PVC pipe, it's CPVC. Um, so different material. The PVC pipe, it's a lot harder to bend and it cracks a lot easier. The CPVC pipe is yellow and it doesn't take too long. I mean, it's still still kind of hot, but it, it'll hit, uh, stick in place. So yeah. And then the last one. Like it's still hot to the touch with the gloves on where I adjusted it, but it's hardened. And the first one you do always takes the longest to heat up just because you gotta slowly work the heat down in one direction. to heat on helps a lot because it still kind of holds the heat um, but it doesn't like you can kind of move it off the table and stuff where if you're just working directly on a table you're likely to burn it and do stuff like I have a there's a little bit of a dark um, dark shadow on the table on the wooden table and that's because I did this beforehand without a heat gun and it was like nope this is too much so Our shape. Watch out! Granite PC desk can come in. I, I like that I can move this off though. Um, and I keep it with the cardboard underneath so it doesn't scratch and I can pick it up. Cardboard gets a little bit annoyed, but it, it works out best having it, you know? So, yeah. But uh, that's that's our shape. Watch out! <laughs> Good. So it's a little off um, just because I didn't have the length of everything, but it's not like necessary that it fit the whole thing. It's just more of there to kind of for a little bit of understructure. So cardboard OP. Yes, can confirm. And you know, if the cardboard goes to shit, I can just toss it and put a new piece under. Is it connected to another one that's in the handle? Yeah, so um, I thought I had longer ones just because I always have tons of these. But for Ari's tail, I ended up having all of these awkward, like they're normally like as tall as me, um, and they all got cut off. So all of these are shorter lengths that are that are this length. And I thought I had longer ones, so it, the plan was to have it where it went into the handle. But um, I've got other ones that I'm just gonna insert it into and glue it in place, so it'll all be fine. Bend any on this one. Nope, but I do need to cut one. So, okay, that's all of our heating. So let me move this out. You yeah, like a uh, this dark spot here? is where I used to heat up with the heat gun. It's like, mm, I don't want to ruin my table. So I started using the granite and it's helped quite a bit and it controls the heat better for uh, doing this process. too loud with the heat gun. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick little picture. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, it's there. Um, So here's the next piece, and it'll be probably a little loose, but I can hold it in place and then glue it. get a CPVC connector. I mean, you can, but the connectors, they're like knuckles. So if you did that, it's going to be a fat little piece right there. Um, and I want it to be where it, like they work, but they're not as strong as having like a thicker piece here. Um, so it'd be a little more awkward to have it there, if that makes sense. So that's going to be our line. And I think I'd already planned on it. I was gonna do a thicker one here. I just didn't remember. Ah! I didn't need to hit it. <laughs> uh, hi, Cosmini Cosplay. How are you today? Um, sandbags. Sorry for the noise. So I'm gonna have it roughly to there. stream it forces me to like really think to explain like what the fuck am I doing because <laughs> normally I'm just like oh I just do this but then when I have to sit down and actually like think and answer questions it's like hmm hmm <laughs> it's a good thing though so yeah uh this is how the long pieces end up becoming the short piece yeah <laughs> okay so uh there 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 I'm gonna take a little video so I have all this there'll be a tutorial for both the keyblades in the end as well as technically the keyblade will be available to buy there you go okay so this one we're gonna mark it's gonna go to here to sit in. So that's gonna be where we sit, and then this is gonna be Star Seeker, Blue, Blue. Pretty good, how's allergies? Allergies are better today. Yeah, it was just that one the one, the first day was like awful. The second day was uh, still kind of bad, but it's a lot better. We kind of had a, like it went to 80 yesterday. And so we kind of had a cold front come in and today it's like 60. Um, I think it's supposed to get colder, but I'm not 100 sure. But I think that kind of helped push the cedar away. <laughs> okay, so that's all the set, the um, piping for the Star Seeker one. Uh, this one's done. Move it to the side. And I need to get the other one out now. So. Hi, Melpool. Welcome on. How are you today? Uh, you thought the Keyblade was the stretch? Yeah, so they're the stretch goals. Um. Yeah. But I don't know 100% like how that all goes. But they technically would be available to you. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, this one's our next one. 
which I don't think I need this size anymore. So I'm gonna put this over here. Let me get this one. Actually, I take that back. I may need something to, to insert for that one. So 80 in February, got <laughs> I mean, it's still like 20 in the morning and then AV in the afternoon every day. So, eh, eh. <laughs> it's like, like when I grew up um, as a kid, I only wore flip flops every day, even when it was freezing outside and I only wore a light jacket because by the time you got to like school, it would be already like, you left and it was like 20. You got to school, it was already like 40. And then by lunch, you don't want to carry on tons of shit. So you just deal with it. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this one, this one is our Destiny's Embrace Keyblade, which is the second one. <laughs> um, and this one we're gonna do here. So, boop, boop, boop. Hi, Cliff. Pokemon, how are you today? Uh, I might as well just have it go to the end. I think that'd be best. We'll have it there and then we'll have it, have it to like here. Destiny's Embrace. And then this one's gonna go to like there. Also, they're drilling next I have neighbors now. They just moved in yesterday. Um, and I've been, every time I've seen them outside, like, I'm not here, don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm anti-social like that. We know this. Don't worry, you'll be back uh, freezing temps next week. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, that one can go there. Um, I did get some PVC pipes. Uh, I think it was the PVC pipe one. Just because the CPVC pipe, they're like slightly different size, sizes. Um, and I'm just gonna use it as the base for this one. Make it easier. working and now relaxing waiting on food nice <laughs> I'm doing well thanks is the neighbor antisocial uh, she already had people over um yeah they they look like they're gonna be talkative um, I, I don't know I don't know I'm the neighbor that don't come over I'm not your friend I'm I don't bar like you're not gonna get sugar from me like don't come and ask him. <laughs> but I am the neighbor that makes a lot of noises. Yeah. Am I making these for something special? Uh, so these, so I'm a judge for the ultimate online cosplay competition and they're gonna be doing a uh, Kickstarter campaign for um, helping to pay judges, also for awards and for more uh, prizes for the event. Um, so that is, I think, officially going to be announced, I think they said on the 10th. Um, so you're hearing it here first. And then uh, these Keyblades, if the Kickstarter reaches its goal, these are going to be stretch goal um, something. I don't, I'm not familiar with Kickstarter, but these will be rewards for people if we, we reach the stretch goal and something like that. But all of that will be announced uh, later as well. So I'm really bad at explaining this. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So why are you here? 
I don't know why I'm here. I don't know. Meet Tiffany's neighbors with the express goal of using all of the sugar, so they have to ask. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Technically, these will be the very first props that I've ever given away or um, like anybody else will be able to get. Uh, I've never sold any of my costumes. I've never sold any of my um, props. So this will be like one of a kind, first time ever. And so these are stretch goals. There's also gonna be, I haven't decided on my award yet, but um, I have to make a judge's award and somebody will also get a one of a kind whatever I decide to make my award. So there's that. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that excites some people for entering the contest or just for helping support for the Kickstarter um, stuff. Uh, I should be filming this also. Stay. Yeah. Uh, didn't know you were, yep, 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 I'd be a judge. I'm one of the um, honorable judges, so the only difference between a the judges and the honorable judges is the judges are the camera ones where I'm gonna be an off camera. Uh, so I'm not gonna be live during the event where the other, I think there's like five judges that are officially on camera during the event doing commentary. Um, but I'll still be judging every single entry that's put in and still doing the same amount of stuff that they are just not talking in front. Because, you know, me talking, I'd be like, I don't know what to say. I pronounce every name wrong in Dirk Dirk. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> okay, let me, let me re-stitch in a cape. Good, 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 good. All right. So we're gonna move this to about here. This one's gonna be marked here. This one I'm gonna have to take into the garage and cut with some specialty tools. I don't think my hand saw is really gonna cut that too well. Yep, yep. Uh... We don't need an ex. Oh, hi Danielle, welcome on. I just noticed you. Hi, hi. I have not done the to-do stuff yet. Sorry. <laughs> yep, yep. Can I power a power sander? I mean, that might be something like, oh, you, you got some specialty tools. Um, I, I don't borrow mine, but can I borrow yours? Does that work? <laughs> I'm a little off on that, but close enough. Okay, so this is, Destiny's Embrace. Hi, Crazy Monster Boss. Welcome on. How are you today? Looks like the Keyblade will be epic. Yeah. Hi, Knight. Welcome on. How are you? No. All judges, all judges are great. No dishonorable ones. Except for, like, maybe Chez can be a dishonorable judge who, like, eats some of the judges awards. Can that be a thing? Okay, and then there's one other little section we gotta do for the Keyblade, and that is this one down here. Um, I'm not actually going to do a, well, I may. I have to see how well I can cut like a small piece. Um, we'll see, we'll see. But it's probably gonna be one piece, and then I'll just like paint a line or something. Yep, yep. Gonna keep your building progress a secret. No worries. No worries. <laughs> yeah, there is, um, I don't, I think it's an open, but it's not officially, like, announced yet either. There will be, for the ultimate online cosplay competition, um, a Discord where we're all there, the judges, as well as any contestants, and the judges cannot see, like, there will be specific sections for, um, other, like, contestants that want to enter to share their work in progress, talk to other cosplayers, where the judges cannot see that section, um, as well as there's like a general section where we can, but that will probably be announced, I think this week, is what they were saying. So yeah, 
you can always put things there and see it all. <laughs> Let me go get the other piece. Okay, this one's our last one. This one's a big boy. I'm trying to do this on camera at the same time so it doesn't fall. Uh, gotta run. Uh, good luck making the keyblade and dodging the neighbors. Thanks, Foxy. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, you're great. Good. Glad to hear. You're in the Discord already? Ah, okay, okay. Yep, yep. draw the two lines just in case I'm able to cut it. I'm like really off there. Oh well. It'll be something like that. Gotta head back to work. Have a great stream. Thanks for stopping by Caspian and good luck with the work of works. Hopefully there's no um, bad customers today. Working on your build a lot on Twitch lately. That some of your stuff you're working on next few weeks is gonna be so big that you can't reasonably stream. Oh yeah, I understand that. It's like when it comes to airbrush painting, I can't really stream it too well. Okay. There is all of our pipes done. Cool, cool. I'll move this. outside can't stream that yeah yep yep yeah my whole setup it's in the garage and I've done like one or two streams of it but I have to take down every single thing down here and like set it all up and for me to do that I typically have to do it the night before and I leave it there for like a few days um, it's just it's too much <laughs> okay this one I'm gonna do here And this one is Destiny's Embrace Chain. All right. Yeah, I'll probably end up later cutting on some more stuff to put in there, but it's good for now. Okay, okay. That's all our pieces. You don't have a garage, you have a backyard, and there is snow on the ground. Ooh, ooh. Best of luck with that. Yeah. Surprisingly, so everywhere I've lived, there's always been garages, except for here where I live, the small town, like all of the houses for rent and things like that, they don't have garages. And it's just like, mm. but luckily the town home I'm in has like a garage. It's very small, but it still works. I can still do all of my painting and stuff. So that's good. <laughs> Hi, testing limits. Welcome on, how are you? And cheers guys, thanks for watching. Hmm. Alrighty. So the question is, do we want to continue with Keyblades, tracing and cutting EVA foam, or do I want to go to the shield? Hmm. I think I got everything cut out for the shield except for the border and the main part of the shield. I could technically glue some of the pieces together. That might work. I kind of want to do that. Yeah, yeah. 
I gotta, I gotta balance everything, so. East Coast, pricey in women, uh, next place will definitely have, yeah. I, I got spoiled by, um, so townhomes typically will have a garage, but uh, the last place I was at was an apartment, and I'd never been in an apartment, like, apartments typically they'll be garages, but they're like carports, kind of, they're not connected to your place, but the last one I was at, it was actually connected to my apartment building, and like, I could walk through my garage to go to my my place, like, I didn't have to, nobody saw me, it was like connected. And I've never had an apartment like that, so I definitely got spoiled by that. And I, don't, I won't go back now, because I work every day on cosplay now, and like, because this is my job, and it's just, I work till like sometimes like 1am, airbrush painting or spray painting in the garage, and I don't want to walk um, like across the street with random people or critters and things, so yeah. Turn into a workshop is a hard degree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I've never had a garage that I actually park a car in. And same with my dad. His has always been a workshop too. It's kind of funny. Okay, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. I think we're pretty good on gluing these two halves. So this is for our shield, uh, Sacred Shield Charlotte cosplay from Final Fantasy Brave Exodus, which is a mobile game. Oh, sorry. So these are the two halves of the shield that we have to glue together. So uh, I think we're gonna do this, and we'll kind of just work back and forth today. It is a big piece. Hopefully I cut it all correctly. He just bumped into an old friend who says they have an empty four-car garage that you could use to build in. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Four-car garage. Daniel, thank you for the hundred videos. Much love and bam. <laughs> uh, both attached and separate garages in both were wood workshops. Ah, oh, very cool. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, I get that out. You remember you had a freshly painted prop drying outside and a bird barely... Oh! <laughs> In Texas I have to worry about all the flies um, and like the little gnats and things and mosquitoes coming. All of my paint jobs, they're pretty good, but they always end up having critter hair from my cats, like, because it just gets everywhere. Like this you can already see. There's, there's tons of cat hair everywhere. I can't get rid of it. Um, that or like just bugs and stuff and eh, what do you do? Okay, we're just gonna be doing this one piece. I wanna do gluing in small amounts today. I don't wanna try to avoid the respirator. Like normally I'll, I'll wear it, but if we're doing just small amounts, I'm fine without it. I've got uh, one window open, I'll open the second one. There you go. So yeah, both windows open, fans on, and yeah, we should be good. So, uh, just gluing this seam, I need to film it. Just keep yelling at me, film Tiffany, film. Don't 
trip over the pipes. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, Iconic Magic. Welcome on. How are you today? <laughs> My cute butt today. Um, it's doing okay. It's doing okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I uh all morning write it so down, write it down. No, Daniel, thank you for gifting uh Melpool a sub. Much love and um thanks Daniel. <laughs> I'll write it down in just a second. Yeah, I, I was working all morning on a, a new type of video for uh my YouTube channel and if you've been following me on my Instagram, you know I've been talking about, or I did like some questions yesterday, but uh, the first one is going to be cosplay uh, and cosplay tools and materials spotlight. And the one I've been working on today, which should be released tomorrow, is about the Dremel. Um, so I'm really like excited but nervous. I'm hoping people will like it. Um, so definitely, when it releases, give me feedback. Um, if you like it, if you think I should change some stuff, because it's a completely different type of video. And uh, I'll also be having like beginner tutorials coming out as uh, well. <laughs> um, that's one thing that everybody has always requested is, like they love my tutorials, but they're like, can you do more beginner stuff and not just, this is how you made like, a ginormous set of armor and wings and like that's great but I want to know how to like just cut foam and how to do basic sewing so I'm I'm starting that the uh, first one I'm gonna do for that one which I'm planning on for that coming out on Monday I think uh, that one's gonna be how to heat treat EVA foam so slowly slowly working down the list of like kind of tutorials but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes okay there's all that um you need her love your job said okay <laughs> yep yep enjoy the month and sub day yep sub day also is on the uh 27th this month um we're gonna be playing a jackbox with all subs you're anxious to see your YouTube channel grow. I, I am too. I, I hope it grows. I hope people, like, oh, I've been getting a good amount of new, I think it's subscribers on YouTube, technically. Um, so yeah, especially since I switched my cosplay one and my gaming YouTube to two separate accounts, that was a huge, like, it's something I needed to do, but it was a huge hit on me. Um, I moved 100% of my gaming streams to a different channel and then deleted them on my cosplay one and I lost I think in the end it was 800 watch hours so uh, we were at when I did it just about 2,000 watch hours and you need like 4,000 to be the checkmark affiliate partner whatever on YouTube whatever it's called um, but yeah I was like oh it got cut in half again so we're back at like 1,200 but I'm trying not to worry about it. I just, I hope, I hope it all goes well. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm writing it down now. Daniel, 21, MX, gift one sub. Continuing to be in the scrolly thing. Cause, you know, scrolly thing. Awesome. Oh, I'm still recording, I think. My bad. That's gonna be a long take. Okay. This one, we're gonna move that way. Um, actually, I'll put it over here. Be good. Yay, scrolly thing! <laughs> You'll do great, don't stress too much. Uh, your hard work and your go. Only gonna get better on YouTube. Aw, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely completely different from like my other stuff. 
Uh, I've been trying to also push, because most people still don't know that I, I do tutorials and things, and a lot of people don't know I make my cosplays. <laughs> so I've been trying to post a few on Instagram now of like, here's the full tutorial in the, the Instagram TV thing. Um, I've been playing around with that, and they seem to be doing great, and people have liked them. And people like the time-lapse video of me getting in my Arbiter costume, so I'm going to try doing that also. Uh, I've Actually, that one like got so much like, please do this more, please do this more, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, because uh, you've got young kids that take all- oh yeah. Nah, it's, it's understandable with the kiddos. Ah! Yep, words are hard. That's why everybody has like special names from me, because I can't pronounce like anybody's names. I butcher them all, and I feel so bad. In all reality, I should have traced where this is going to go first before we attach them. I think I'll trace it next. And then we'll attach them after. Before attaching our our next piece. That one I will have to put the respirator on when we do all the glue. I <laughs> think two won't now. Aww. How many little people do you have? Little kiddos. It's weird seeing Amber's leave now on my left side. So weird. kitty and a bunny so <laughs> the bunny might as well be my child he he he's like a chocolate factory just delivering poop he's a poop factory and he just yeah he's special he's special <laughs> okay I think I can change my color balance back now um that one is our face cam configure we're gonna move it back to that how does that seem that seems better oh I did it go I pressed okay and not apply okay good 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 all right um next thing have to cut this whole thing out again but I may have to we can at least get some of it drawn on because there's still a bunch here I don't want to cover the whole thing in contact cement glue uh, when you do that the paint job gets all messed up four guinea pigs but you uh, you refuse to clean uh, Mental abortion, that means you have to take care of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, there. Oh, I need the tape too. I'll try not to be loud. Sorry. Okay, okay. So I already have cut out this section, um, but now I have to kind of trace it so we know where to put the contact cement glue, and then uh, we'll have to put glue on both sides and then attach them. Um, I'll probably attach these parts first, but this will give me a general idea of where it's gonna go.
So many pieces. It's like, it would be kind of cool to have like, um, just the contact cement glue in a spray bottle. Spray the whole piece. As much as I hate it, it almost, it, da, 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 da. no, no, cause then there's not gonna be the places, just like second guessing. Just keep me doing what I'm doing. Adam, welcome on, how are you today? <laughs> go to that way no keep going keep going there we go there we go you're all right how about you doing well thanks just been busy. It's like, I realized the only time I can kind of relax is when I stream now. Otherwise, I'm just doing work all day. Like, I asked a few of my friends, because I was, I was a little concerned. I enjoy streaming, but I was like, you know, should I continue streaming? Should I, like... I have a lot of friends on there, I enjoy it, but I don't know if I really have time. And uh, I got some really good advice about like, you should definitely continue streaming because this is, that's something you love to do. It's something also for you to interact with people and not just be like a troll and not talk to anybody. Um, you know, introvert. <laughs> and, uh, also, because I, I have fun and it, I definitely relax doing it. Um, so yeah, I, I like that advice. <laughs> okay, that's, that's good for now. So we'll kind of trace it. I've been like going through Sharpies so much. Don't leave us, I'm not. I'm not. I, I just occasionally kind of get a little down on like if, if I wasn't streaming right now, I'd still be doing this. That's why I still am like, well, I can stream because I'm going to do this no matter what. So I can still talk to y'all. But um, it was kind of like the first time I really kind of doubted it. I've been doing this now for four years. We haven't, I haven't really streamed for, like, I'd like it to be kind of my job. But in the end, it's, it's really not. Um, I guess it's kind of hard to explain. But... I could also be doing like a bunch of tutorials and things, so it made me think. But I'm not leaving, I'm staying here. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> All the scared people. No, don't do that. Uh, I did have this. Yes, I have camera over it. Okay, cool, cool. Um, let me record. Okay, okay. The Sharpie works nice on this. The two millimeter I have, the foam wise, it's still a little greasy. And when the foam's a little more greasy, it's hard for the Sharpie to um, to sit on, or like to, to actually mark on. It kind of just ruins the tip of the Sharpie, even though it still has ink. But this one seems to be nice. Souls come back after heart attack. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do think it's like, I should be honest about things like that. Um, so yeah. And like question, like the other thing was like questioning on 
if I should technically split my Twitch channel into a gaming specific one and a cosplay specific one. Because I know there's a good portion of people that they don't want one, they only want the other. So it's all questions that I've just been contemplating. Uh, I'm keeping the channel as one for now. So. Tony Reesbo to evaluate what you're doing. Yeah. Yep, yep. Understandable feeling. Sometimes you have to take it personal in the tour. You always don't want to burn. Mm-hmm. 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 I always like to self kind of evaluate everything and see like what's working, what's not. What do I enjoy doing? What is I'm doing it just because of money? And I've been fixing a lot of things, so I think. We're good on, like, on a good pace right now, on some stuff. And I'm forcing myself, so a big change also is, I used to not, like, I've always read on social media, everybody's comments, I've always read, like, all the stuff, but I have a really hard time with, um, saying stuff back, like just saying thanks or saying, oh, that's cool, or, or I don't know. So I'm, I've been trying the last month um, to really respond to everybody as much as possible. Not necessarily through whispers and things, but uh, through, through like comments. And same on YouTube. I, I had never repl like replied to a comment on YouTube until recently. So, yeah, there were some that were a few months old. <laughs> okay, okay. Eee. You will from watching and talking to you and watching over the last year, you've seen that. You could see the mass amounts of photo shoots you were doing and starting to wear you out. That's an example of doing good. Yeah, that was one of the big things. <laughs> okay. I want to do like so much more, but I just don't have the time. I already do a lot, but I want to do like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping with the changing to doing cosplays where not necessarily doing a new cosplay every month, but maybe every two months, but they're larger. I'm hoping that'll kind of help a little bit too. The Lurking Yosho. starts to die a little. I think before we glue like the large one, I'll glue the small ones so I know where they all are.
already. You go there, and then I'm just gonna get this and we'll trace it. So here's the official piece. So I can see if I missed anything. Reading and replying to emails, running your social media, setting up and maybe doing your photo shoots, all these little things. Yeah, definitely. I need, I need like somebody to reply to all of the random emails I get all the time. <laughs> okay, um, I think this is where it ended and then I have the outer line and then a little bit of this jumbo stuff, so. Mm -hmm. The photo shoot editing stuff's not too bad though. Um, like I have, somebody obviously takes the pictures for me, but I still have to edit all of them and it does take some time. But I've kind of figured out a process and like, I have a style for how I edit my things, so I think it kind of comes more naturally now, where definitely at the beginning, I was still learning. And there's always more to learn on how to do stuff, but yeah. <laughs> like, the, uh, the Arbiter photo shoot. That one was a little tricky to edit, not gonna lie. Just because the pictures were black. Because it was so dark outside. And so I really had to kind of go in in Lightroom and like adjust all the lighting so it looked the same color as the costume, but it looked more like it was in daytime. And like some of the images, because I had a, a light out there with me, um, there's like a harsh shadow because it was pitch dark and like my costume was causing shadows on certain parts. So it was, it was a lot, but I'm still happy with them. I think they're pretty cool. I had to figure out for the Charlotte costume, this one, where I can take photos that are close by that'll look really well. I kind of just have like forest. <laughs> Um, uh, Rosario, thank you for the new follow. Much love. Yeah. Oh, hiccups. So, it is Friday. Where is everybody going? Or doing for this weekend? I guess not going. Nobody is going anywhere, really. Have you ever thought of digital backgrounds? Yes! But that takes a lot longer. <laughs> um, I know some people have offered, but I still don't have like, I, I do everything myself because, oh, work tonight? Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully it goes well. I still don't make that much money at all. I break even and that's because I do everything myself. Um, so to have like specialty, like pictures in the backgrounds and stuff, I could do it, but each photo, that would take a lot longer to do um, for editing wise, and I just don't have time. And then if I paid somebody to do it, most photographers for like cosplay stuff, they're like, I'll do a photo, sh photo shoot for you for 15 minutes and I'll edit five photos for a hundred dollars. I can't do that. I'd rather, I've, I've got my friend that helps me take photos and then I edit 100% of, of the stuff myself. I, I don't have money to pay other people on like things like that. I wish I did. Um, or like I'll, I'll like kind of do like, here I'll buy you a meal. But it, that's crazy. Wig styling this weekend? Oh, nice! What, what wig are you working on? 
That's one thing I want to improve on my skills. I, I can do decent wigs, I think. Uh, <laughs> but I'd like to improve uh, a lot, so. Oh, I shifted. Oh no, um. Okay, it's like there instead. Just dot glue there. Lots of glue. It'll be fixed, right? Uh, Badass Sakale, if you have any tips, shoot them this way. <laughs> nice, nice. That one, that one's gonna be an interesting one. I've seen a lot of people, um, I think, tutorial-wise, I would say watch Kimpatsu. She does really good ponytail uh, tutorials for wigs. That might help you. Um, I don't know if you already have like different colored wefts or you plan on like just buying different types of wigs. Um, but yeah, I'd use them as different colors to style them. Do the headpiece as one piece and then do like the X method for on the back with like a PVC pipe or something and then have the, the top fluff hair as a separate piece, um, if any of that made sense. <laughs> but yeah, she's pretty good at it. Uh, I think also, I want to say Willow Cosplay is, uh, I should promote my YouTube channel first, but I don't have like a good tutorial for that. I don't, I, I have a tutorial for like Nico's wig, but it's nothing like the same wig. <laughs> At least I'm being honest too. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Willow Willow Cosplay is also doing the same wig. Um, but yeah, that one's definitely a tricky one. Willow Creative, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was close to the name. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, I know people have been requesting wig tutorials from me. I've done, I think, three wig tutorials? I've done a wig dyeing with my, the baddest Kata Ari, um, for her wig. And then I've got a, a wig tutorial for Star Guardian Nico, and then for, uh, Wicked Lady from Sailor Moon, hers. But that's all the wig ones I have. I don't have too many. But yeah, oh sorry, I missed my point of thought on that. Um, people have been asking for more like basic ones. So like how to straighten a wig, how to curl a wig. Uh, so I'm gonna try doing some of those also. Here's the turning out so good. Uh, I have no idea how to make a wig that can... Oh, yeah. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Remember, it's gonna take twice as long as you think it'll take. And don't, don't rush it. Okay, I think that's all the components. I think that's it. There may be like an extra little like flying one, but I don't know offhand. So that's... Oh, oh, wait, wait, I didn't trace this part. Uh, there we go. Right here. So I'd like to glue the two halves of the shield together first and then glue the decorative pieces. Um, that way I can make sure this line gets pretty close to connecting, so. My Aria is so good, Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, I've done three Aries now, I think? I did the, the Spirit Blossom Ari, that wig, the, the ears came out fantastic. I love the ears on it. Um, everybody else does like fun fur ears, but I feel like it doesn't look natural to the wig. So I did mine out of the wig care. 
But um, the wig didn't turn out how I wanted it at all. I had planned on something completely different, but I ran out of time and it just didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> so I went to like plan like C on the Spirit Blossom Ari for the wig. And then um, the baddest K to Ari, I really liked that one. And then the, uh, the normal K to Ari. So those are mine. Okay, this one we'll put over here now. Making sure they're on the right side too. <laughs> and thanks guys for watching. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. My name is Tiffany from Tiffany Gordon Cosplay. Obviously, I'm a cosplay maker because um, we're working on cosplays. And I also do gaming streams here. If you've missed any of my past live streams, you can always catch up on my YouTube channels. I have a specific cosplay one where all of my cosplay VODs go, as well as cosplay tutorials. Um, and then all of my gaming VODs go to my new gaming uh, YouTube, which is Tiffany Gordon Gaming. Back with numbs? Num num numbs. Did, did you bring enough for me? I, I like, I like food. Um, food? Yeah, see, what did you bring? Baked chicken salad. You can keep it. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> I might, I like, I can pick out the, the chicken and I'll eat that, but you, you can keep the salad part. Yeah, that, that's uh, all, all for you. Nah, I'm not a salad person at all. I don't, I don't eat vegetables really. Um, I, I like meat um, and fruit. That's that's me. Yep, it's rabbit's food. It goes to Chaz. Correct, correct. He's a happy little guy. I have lots of vegetables in the house. Do I eat them? No. It's a good thing you only have enough for you and Chez. Oh, I don't know about that. Chez, he's a pretty, a pretty fluffy boy. Um, he likes his veggies. He's got currently in the fridge uh, carrots and broccoli, and then I have a lot of cilantro. Um, yeah. That's what he normally eats. Typically, you stay away from fruit just because it's it's more like candy for them, and it can kind of give them more more runs. And rabbits are they don't have they have like little little pellets, um, so yeah, you kind of want to stay away from that. Your cat has taken some of your chicken. <laughs> nice. I remember uh, when Cello was still around, I'd eat at, like downstairs at um, the the desk, and she would sit on one of the desks, like under under shelves, and I'd see a little paw come out like this onto the top of the table, like trying to grab food. And it's like, um, excuse me, what are you doing? And then she'd like hide again. She loved chicken. That was her favorite thing. 
Love, however, she wants nothing to do with people food. Mm hmm. <laughs> Daniel, it's your fault for not bringing chicken for the cat, right? Okay, that, that, that. Wow, time to trace. so far we've definitely been getting a lot of work done on this Your cats are only interested in raw chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know how, how well that would be for them. <laughs> Fluff, so, like I said, she's scared of like Chez downstairs. But um, we're finally on the fourth step from the top uh, of putting her, like her food bowl down. I've been trying to, when I feed her at night, move the bowl down like every other night to kind of encourage her that the stairs are okay and downstairs is okay. Um, so she's going there on her own, which is good. But uh, well, it's been a long time trying to get her to do this. I'm hoping she'll keep it up. Like slowly, slowly make it down the stairs. <laughs> Your cat will whine and cry until you give her the chicken and uh, when she's done, she'll sit there starting with <laughs> You, you don't have a cat, you have a little piggy. A little beggar cat. No. Sharpie is slowly dying. Come on, you can do it. There we go. I have to like tilt it more and more each time to kind of get the ink to come off on the sides. I didn't have time to order more of my, my white markers that I liked. Those are like the best. Your time is over, sad me. Aww. That's okay. Well, best of luck, Daniel, at um, work you work the rest of the day. Yeah. And we will see you on Discord, because I know you'll be there. Also, I hope you liked the video that I posted. <laughs> I, I was, um, didn't know about sharing it with everybody, so, yeah. <laughs> Joy the Esther stream, yeah, thank you. Okay, let's see if I can get a different Sharpie. Where, where did they all go? Um. Um. Oh, hi, Fluffles. I didn't notice you were here. Hi. Yeah? Right in time. It's not under this. Really? Where did they go? I know. Where did they go, Fluffles? Where did they go? Where did I toss them? I really lost them all. Oh, 
Here they are. Derp, derp. I found them. You laughed so hard with it. Okay, good. <laughs> hi, Fluffly Puff. Come say hi to everybody. Say hi. Look. Look right there. Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl, Fluffles. Thanks for visiting. You're probably going to run away in a second because I know you. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. So many show Fluff on stream. I know. <laughs> She's a good little kitty. She is getting like more, um, more happy to be on stream. Like beforehand, she refused to be on stream. I press start and she would go and hide. And she's been slowly kind of coming on a little bit more. Um, her chair, like back there, the pile of blankets, that's like her favorite spot now. So I've been kind of leaving it there as encouragement for her to be there. She likes it when I'm quiet, basically, and not talking constantly to myself. <laughs> Does it bug you? How oh, fluffles? Hey, just great. Welcome on. How are you? And bye, Daniel. <laughs> ton of errands. Ah, not babysitting today, the um, niece and nephew. I'm doing okay, thanks. We're just working away, as always. <laughs> today we uh, we started the stream working on our two keyblades that we've been uh, making, the uh, Star Seeker and the uh, Destiny's Embrace one from Kingdom Hearts. And then now we are working on our uh, Sacred Shield Charlotte cosplay from, and the shield part, from uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. Is a lot of tracing right now, basically. We actually will be shortly uh, just waiting for them to get out of school. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Well, hopefully that's been going well for you. Oh, sorry guys. Um, let me do that. Just yell at me when I'm not in frame. Bad job, streamer. Do better. Not too bad? Good, good. Good, good, good. Okay, that one's done, and then we'll have a little bit to trace in this top section. Okay, I guess it's three o'clock, so the... I think the elementary school gets out at 3.30 here, or it's a middle school. I'm not exactly sure. So traffic will start picking up in a bit. Keep going. Okay. Your little nephew is turning 16. <laughs> Gotta pick up the kid. I don't consider that a little nephew. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking when you were saying, like, nephew and niece, I was like, oh, they're, like, little little six-year-old or something, not teenager. My gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Here. 
He's always been little to you though. Oh yeah. No, I understand that. It's just like, in my mind, I wasn't picturing like older age. I was picking, picturing like old kids. This is a weird song. It reminds me of like, Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay. Loud squeakles. Okay, we are in this area. I'm shocked that she's still here. She's just still on the chair. Good girl, Fluffles. <laughs> nice. I will have to kick her out though when I start doing gluing though, because I don't want her to be breathing it in. If I wear a respirator while doing gluing or anything like that, I try to keep the critter out of the room. Because if you're having to wear one, then it's probably like three times as worse for the, the kitty. Looks awesome already. Aw, thank you. How are you doing today? And tracing on where it's gonna go. We're about to glue the two halves together and then I'll have to apply glue to all of the detail parts. Um, and that'll take a while to get all of that done. And then we'll attach them all at the end. At least that is the plan today. So we'll have actually something that kind of resembles a shield. Great, uh, hope you have a great night. Oh, thank you, you too. I'm excited to relax because it is Friday and I don't have like, I don't have anybody coming over this weekend. I don't have, uh, so no visitors, no photo shoots this weekend. Um, so I can kind of just do what I want, work on my own, my own stuff and yeah, I'm excited for it. From Brazil. Ah, oh, well, welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm sorry, Fluffles. Yeah. We've got a, a few people from Brazil, I think. Comfy weekend sounds great. I know. I know. 
What, what's your comfy weekend, uh, uh, Yosho? Hey, Danger, welcome on. Thanks. Yeah, it took, it took a long time to do this one. The pattern itself ended up being, because I made the whole thing myself, um, it ended up being, like, I think in total 30-something pages. And each page is, like, separate for each of the components. Because this shield has, like, the details on it, but then it's got, like, the the X that's not an X. And, uh... Sorry, there's kids. And then there's, um... Like, the, the gym that's on it, and all the other pieces. It, it's intense, but I'm really excited about it. Okay, I think that's... That's it. Don't make- no, no, don't visit, Jason. Don't visit. I don't want visitors. <laughs> you'll- I'm- you'll get to see me on the- on the, um, next weekend, on the 13th, Chanks Day. Also, d does, uh, Jeff Hunt, he knows about the day, right? We're already, like, confirmed it's okay to- to go to Camp Mabry, even though they're, like, canceling everything again. I apparently didn't trace something. What was this? Wait, wait, wait. There's like a whole piece missing that I didn't trace here. Uh, let me see. It's okay, Bubbles. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bubbly Pop. Just playing video games and watching stream is always a good comfy weekend. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Oh, okay, bye. Well, that was she was here a lot longer than normal. How are you today also, uh, Jason? <laughs> yeah, that was that was your freebie. Nobody had to use channel points. But I guess it's kinda I like, I kind of thought about, like, lowering the channel points, but then I also don't want it to be too low where she... I don't want to disturb her also. Like, if everybody constantly spams the channel points, so... Okay. I think that's it. Hopefully we hit everything now. Okay, okay. It is traced. It's interesting that you can feel it. You take a quick picture. Boop. Good, good. And uh, before we connect the two halves, I'm gonna go use the restroom. So in the meantime, Hang out, sit tight, and uh, if you're new, press the follow button. I'll be back in just a sec. Press up, guys.
one. <laughs> um, I think I'm just gonna do this camera for now because it's, it's just a large shield. Massive ass shield. <laughs> okay. Kitchen daily done? No, you can get. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Okay. The rest. Let's see. making it. Yeah, I heard something where they changed one of the uh, voice actresses or something in the game. And there was a lot of people that were upset about it. Got a little off at the top, so I'll probably trim that off. Okay. Now, to flip it, I know, coming together slowly, slowly, slowly. It's, it's gonna be, I think this, like, I don't consider my wings to be, yeah, they're big props, but they're more of like separate pieces where this is one ginormous piece. So I think this one's gonna be like the largest piece I've made. So, yeah. You should keep talking and keep hearing my voice. Paimon thinks everything is cool. Paimon, 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 that's all you hear in your head is Paimon talking to you, right? Something like that. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah, and there's gonna be one other piece that this sits behind. <laughs> so, um, there's gonna be one actual curvature that this will sit on too, and then it'll hold its shape. Uh, I'll probably in the center have to do like one, one little dot or something to kind of separate them, because there'll be a tiny bit of air in between. But yeah. Pylon is not food! So you, <laughs> but I do the voice so well, don't you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So that's that. That is that. That is that. So the next part is to apply a shit ton of glue. Mhm. Mm Basically everything we just traced, we got to put glue on on this and on the back side of the other thing. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do that now. Um. I should have traced where our line was though, but that's okay. Pyman's voice is an abrasive. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It it's it's a lot. It's a lot. So, okay. Um. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good with this. I'm good with this. Um. I think I want to do the small pieces first. I'm sorry, I'm trying to think as I go along. We'll do all the small ones, so they're on, and then we'll do the large pieces. Yeah. Okay. Um, go there. There. And then I need all the small ones. Those two, 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 there, there, there. Uh oh. I'm missing one. Emailing you about the Genshin update. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, that that. I'm gonna need my respirator for this, which is uh, downstairs. I will go get it. Two seconds. Yeah, it sucks because uh, my second respirator, I've always had two respirators. I keep one upstairs and I typically keep one in the garage so I don't have to walk back and forth. And like one's more dirty than the other because of being like working outside. But um, the new one I just got, the strapping already, like this one's the good one, but the strapping on this part broke in half. I've had it for like a month. And uh, it like, it doesn't, um, you can still smell everything. Like it has a clear like seal, but I guess whatever it was, it was the wrong type or something. I don't know. It's really bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get a new one, unfortunately. Can't wait to see how it looks. Aw, oh, thanks. The little 
hot. What? <laughs> okay. <gasps> no, they're brand new. The uh, other respirator, I've had it for a month and they were brand new. I put it all together and it just didn't work at all for anything. So, I don't know. It was, it was like a cheap one on Amazon. So. Oh, it's like a little hat. Yeah. But, it's okay. I'll just go and get a different one later. Uh, actually, before I do this, we'll do one thing. So I have to make sure that they're mirrored on each of them, so I want to... I want to do a mark so I know which side to put the contact cement glue on. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this one's good. Okay. a really long list of ones that I want to make for our channel, but I only have five slots plus the uh, whatever biddies, and I've just been lazy and I haven't made more like recently. This way they don't move on me. I'm not like fully putting them down. I'm just like lightly having them on there. to so far is the uh, the new Pokemon Snap. Um, I, I had it for the original Nintendo 64. <sighs> Loved it. Um, so I'm excited for that one. But that's like I think another two or three months away. Any, anything in between them? A new Mario? Oh uh, yeah. I'm not excited about that one. Little Nightmares 2 next week. I don't know what that one is, actually. I don't know if 
I've watched it or not. whatsoever about it. It reminds me more of like Sonic where it's just to kind of go here and there. I want a new Paper Mario though. I, I still love that game. It was so much fun. You haven't even looked up. <laughs> I'm happy you're, you're liking it. I, Cyberpunk to me, it didn't interest me. And then I know there was a lot of bad reviews on playing it on the, the PS4. So. And like a few of my friends, they played it, but they beat it so fast. They were just like, hmm. I have to talk slower when I have this song. I gotta remember that. <laughs> You have no idea except for in the Pokemon. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. The near uh, Reptunes. So is that gonna be? Cause I played the original near Automata. And uh, is that one gonna be like a new game completely, or is it gonna be an add-on to it? Like the Sinnoh Alice that I cosplayed from was a mobile game from it, but you could still play as uh, A2 and uh, B2 and everybody. Continue playing. It is the prequel, you want to say? Okay. Yeah, I didn't know if it was just like a DLC for uh, Atomina or not. Okay. Now we have to do the big shield. Let me actually move this. out of the bounds, but that's okay. I'm so excited for the shield. And like all of my paint came in today. So uh Createx Paint is also gonna be sponsoring me again for the airbrush paint. 
which is a airbrush paint company and uh, they sent me all of my colors today and I'm like ah so cool which reminds me I need to do a picture with it <laughs> There. Can y'all even see this? Maybe that? Is that better? Uh, let me... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to think about that for a second. Looking good. Okay, good, good. Could be good. Was there more up here? One more up here. And then we gotta flip it to be the other side. I don't have room! The shield's too big. one where I need to work on the ground for. It's just these two left. So I did the other ones already. Gluing all of the little dangly pieces and then other stuff's gonna be a pain because it's just one piece. larger one, which is this one.
देखें All the pieces that we're attaching right now are going to be gold in the end and then the shield's going to be uh, blue itself. I always have to do like in my head which way does it face and then pick the opposite one. Oh, actually there is one that we're missing that I don't know where it is. I'm gonna have to look that one up on the, the blueprints and see. Um, this one is... The like heart shaped one I'm missing. No, like I have the piece here. I just don't know where it is on here. She doesn't typically play with my stuff. She doesn't care about any of it. She has a hard time seeing in general, so I don't think she notices a lot of the stuff. on this side. I'll have to trace that one. They only use two little ones. I have no idea. Okay, that's that. I didn't 
miss it on this. I know. Okay, let me bring up the big blueprint and see if I can find it. investigate and find them. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. do it on this side because this is the side that my blueprint is oh no I have that one okay and then the next one is this one and then it's one two three four okay and then it's here, and then there's a swirly here. They go in here. Okay, I found them. So this swirly, the two continue downward. So to copy it, on. So it's just gonna be like, Here-ish. Looks good enough. There. Where's the other side? I'm trying not to flip the shield. There. And then the other ones are the hearts. Which... goes like that-ish. Okay. Yay! We found them! Okay, now to include them. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. And then it was this side over here that we'd forgot that one on. And then the rest of it is the one, the one really large piece. Like I almost am tempted to just get the big gallon out and just use that instead. Okay, we're slowly getting there, slowly but surely. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> do I have any any junk ones? Actually, it's a question. Um, damn. <laughs> uh, Rafa's. Uh, uh, thank you for the one bitty. Nice up. I'm gonna go see if I can get a different paintbrush because I think we're gonna just do it out of the bucket. Like most of my paintbrushes are like oil ones that I have stored. Like I'm never gonna use them again, but you never wanna use them on stuff that's not that. So now I need to dry a tiny bit more. Move all of this out of the way now. So we're gonna need as much room as possible for all of this. Yep. Okay, we can put that one now. Alrighty. Now to do basically the whole thing in contact cement glue. Yay! Yay. <laughs> it's like, I'd have more room if my, um, my camera stand wasn't there. Because I could push it back more. But, oh, I have the hiccups. But it's kind of stuck. <laughs> Sorry. I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. 
All right. So now I'm just going to be wearing a respirator for like the rest of the stream. Pretty much at this point. Uh, so I always say like I typically get a contact cement thing like a jug like this and then I'll get a glass one. The glass one's like six dollars. This is like seven dollars. I go through a shit ton. So I typically will just refill this and once the big jug is empty, I'll get a new one of these because it's pretty dirty, but it saves you a lot of money. Um, but for this process, because I'm just gonna be doing the whole thing and it's gonna be a long sit down, I'm just gonna use it straight out of the jug and not use the small one right now. Um, the only downfall about using things out of the jug is whatever paintbrush you use or sponge or whatever, will be ruined afterwards unless it is submerged and it is always for contact cement glue. So that's why I prefer these because they have the little built-in brush, um, however crappy it is, but it still works pretty well. So, yep, yep. But um, yeah, ready, ready for the long, the long haul of contact cement glue. Yay! <laughs> Oh, before I put this all the way on, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you are enjoying, and if you're new, press the follow button. Uh, we are currently working on the shield for our Sacred Shield of Charlotte cosplay from the mobile game Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. All right. No, I think they... And just in case, I'm gonna have pink kills. <laughs> This will save us a lot of time. But it won't be as precise if you're doing it. You're at, have a great history stream. Uh, thanks for stopping by, but, and have a wonderful weekend. texture there once it dries so if there's not foam covering it you'll still notice it and like if you do plasti dip on top you'll still see it there so I typically only try to put it where the piece is actually gonna lay as much as possible gonna cover this whole section though. They're too small of areas to like be precise on there. to the small one. I mean, it's the exact same thing. I just get both because it's cheaper. The large one's seven dollars, the small one's six dollars. And so I just refill it. You just always will ruin a paintbrush though every time you use it if you're just doing it out of the large one.
Now the small one is easier to handle and less messy. You can carry it around more. But because we're doing such large pieces um, in large areas, I, it's gonna be easier for us to do it this way. paintbrush and that's what I like about it and it's easy to refill No matter what, contact cement glue will always smell. If you are only using the small one, it's less of a smell because there's less of it in there. Or the larger one, you have a bigger container, so you'll have more smell. Um, you also never close it at this point, where the small one, you're constantly closing it to get more. avoid those bubbles. I'm gonna focus the camera real quick. Yeah, my other little trick is I have a small cutting mat that I do my gluing on and it helps a lot. One side's for gluing, the other side's for uh, cutting. And it takes up no room. You have your table in paper just in case? Yeah, sometimes I'll do that. But I'm pretty good with like not having too much drippage when it comes to applying. It 
is satisfying doing this right now with a large brush though compared to the small one. It covers like so much more than the uh, small one does. Probably for the other piece I will need to wrap the table though. But because it's so lace-like and small. And I'll probably tape it to the table too, make it easier. Does anybody else have any questions or anything? I mean, y'all are always free to ask if you want. And I will attempt to answer as much as possible. I think I'm just going to cover this whole section. I think about that one for a second. It was like in a weird spot. Okay. I get confused on which spots I'm actually doing. Go 
going over because I know that's where the border comes on these parts. If we were doing this with the small paintbrush on the, the built-in one for the other container, we probably wouldn't have even been like a fifth of the way done. So this is definitely speeding up. Has anybody noticed that our music has already repeated, like a long time ago? I really have been enjoying this, uh, this station on the soundtrack extensions, but they only have two hours of it, and it makes me sad. playing Sea of Thieves uh, yesterday. You never noticed until you mentioned it. <laughs> yep, yep.
You're playing, I don't know what, and at the same time you just got the streaming robot part. Oh gosh. <laughs> At one point I wanted to, uh, so I've done uh, A2, I've cosplayed her. Uh, originally when the first, the Automa game first came out, I wanted to do um, A2, or I mean uh, B2. But then everybody started cosplaying her and it was nothing but bum fakes and I was like, never mind. So that never, never happened. The only reason A2 came was because on Patreon we reached a goal and uh, everybody voted on wanting me to make her. So that's how that one came. But it's one of my favorite costumes I've made actually, even though it was like really fast. You have more? Yeah. Finish this, you'll probably go back and finish uh, what's in there. Ah. I mean, the true finish is when you beat it, what, like 13 times and then you get the official ending or something like that? Uh, Shane says hi to you. Oh, hi Shane! Hope you're doing well. but not that yeah <laughs> yeah but it's like the official official ending though like you have to beat all of those to unlock it or something
if I did this spot or not. The cuts are a lot thinner with this brush though. Minus the um, the respirator. Hi, Frozen. Welcome on. How are you? It's kind of funny because I realize that people can't see when I make faces with the respirator on. And that is it for the shield part, not the detail parts. Um, will that even fit in here? No. I kind of want to chop this up so it can fit, but then it's just going to be a mess. Camera, 
it's not wanting to focus. There we go. Kinda, kinda. It's like super overly exposed now. Um, so for all of the small detail parts, I need to wrap the table and we're gonna tape it down. Uh, but I wanna go for like a minute or two, take a step out of the room, take my respirator off. Um, so give me like two or three minutes and I will be back. Uh, much love guys. And thanks for watching. Just give me a few, a few minutes to catch my breath. table now. I also opened one of the windows in the other room so I could get a little bit more of a breeze. Uh, I think I'm gonna mute the mic while I uh, do this so that way it's not super loud for y'all. So back in a second.
put this up now. tape under it I think. We'll just do that. So I'm just gonna tape it to the table. bit but it'll be better in the end because then it won't move on us as much it'll still move but <laughs> excited to have this done. <sighs> like uh, once I apply all the glue I can let it dry and then while that's happening I can go to eat and then like catch them all and yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. to the side so it can attach. And let's see if I have, oh, I need to do the one for there. I want to see if I have enough room to attach the second one.
have enough room. I'm just gonna have to add more stuff again. Uh, let's do pieces of paper. So the nice thing is we'll just be able to do the paintbrush like straight and get it all done. Mm -hmm. So she's good, pretty fast, I think. In my head at least. now. Okay, I'm going to take a picture real quick. <laughs> so now, her glue again. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and just 
open. I'm gonna start on this side and then we'll just work our way. That's good. And for sure those are backwards. Yes. This will be the quickest way, but it'll be a little messy. Hopefully we won't have it stick to itself on the table. That's the only downfall with this. The music kind of helps because it kind of makes me feel like I need to work like faster with it, which is kind of nice. And like not care too much about it being messy.
can see where I want because I'm not filming. Because I will need to attach them together. Most of it will still be covered and you won't see it, so. Num num num! Glue! Num! I know. This is why I wanted to uh, use the, the bucket rather than the smaller one. This reminds me of when I was making my Khaleesi costume. I made it, I'm, I don't really have like any photos of it, but I made it a long time ago with the, it was the blue dress with the gold, uh, little details and stuff in the corset. And I kind of did the same process where I had the blue fabric and I hand stamped all the gold on it and it took forever. And uh, actually my other table still has gold from it because it went through the paper and all of the pieces. It's like, oopsie. <laughs> but it was a lot of this as well. glued any of uh, the things you were working on together? Like glued something to the table that wasn't supposed to be? Thinner doing it this process. That's my one downfall. 
where the other brush it's for sure like thick coats which i prefer and it has a better stick then so we'd be here forever if we were doing that Possibility I might have to do some of this later again. Throw the glue on the edge. Kind of just guessing if I'm getting it fully. Okay. Um, I kind of want to see if I can cut this. Let's see, I need it to be like that's all? Maybe? Maybe? Let's see. Oh, I should clean the edge just a wee bit. Just a wee bit more. Just to make sure it doesn't seal on us. I have a bad problem with that. So what? My hands aren't covered in glue. I shouldn't have done that. That's like awful. 
Never mind, I'm putting my hair back up. <laughs> but I'm still gonna leave my respirator on while I say the ending just cause it's still smelling in here for probably another hour. So yeah, the next step for this is I'm gonna have to wait for it all to dry and then connect the two halves and then glue it to the shield part that we glued. So that is coming next. Um, how should we do this? There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> but yeah, uh, happy Friday, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and thanks for stopping by today. <sighs> it's hard to talk with this one. <laughs> Um, our next stream is going to be on Monday, and uh, Monday the 8th. I don't know if it's going to be a cosplay making stream or a gaming stream yet, so we'll just have to see where I get work-wise over the weekend. <sighs> yeah, have a good weekend, everybody. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. My name's Tiffany from Tiffany Gordon Cosplay. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, thank you to the new followers we did receive today. Uh, thank you for the biddies we received, the host. Thank you, Caspian, for the resub, and Daniel for gifting one sub to the channel. Much love, guys. And uh, stay tuned for more videos coming on Cosplay YouTube for tutorials. So, yes. But, much love, guys, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.